Welcome to Chemistry with Alberta Hemsley. Enjoy. I'm Alberta Hemsley, and I'm a chemistry teacher with Cincinnati Public Schools at Withrow International High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today I'm going to be talking to you about distillation of water, and I have here a setup where I'm distilling water. Here I have a hot plate, and I am boiling water. And the water goes from a liquid to a vapor, and then the vapor goes down the inside of this tube here, and it comes out as a clear vapor because the larger molecules that are in this first flask are being left behind. They do not evaporate at this temperature. So the food coloring that I have in there is being left behind, and what I have here is beautiful, clear water. It's the same kind of water that you can buy in your store called distilled water. And here in Ohio, this is a good thing to have sometimes, especially for equipment like irons that get that crusty stuff around the edge. We have, very nice, this is fossilized rock here. It's calcium carbonate. And all of our water passes over these rocks. And I use these containers to humidify my home in the winter. And what's being left behind is the calcium carbonate that is in the water. It just evaporates and it's being left behind. So our distillation setup goes from liquid, vapor, to liquid. Let me just show you the um, cooling mechanism here. I'm going to turn the water off. some of the air bubbles that are going. It's going from the faucet to the lower part of the outside of this tube. And it comes to the upper part of the tube and then comes out. Let me start it up again. It comes out. Let me just show you again what this condenser does. The condenser is just a tube that goes down the middle of another tube. Here it's a vapor. Here it's being cooled by the water that's moving up. And down here, the coolness of the water has changed it back into a liquid again. And there we have it, distillation of water. Enjoy.